a new nation is born. That she will advance in science and technology, that our people's standards will rise, that education will spread, and that health conditions will be better. Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, started setting up the temples of modern India. Central Drug Research Institute was the seventh national laboratory. Lucknow, the Chhattar Manzil, a palace of the Nawabs of Awadh, a historical royal monument becomes an institute for drug research, a fitting tribute to a new democracy. Central Drug Research Institute was established under the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research 60 years ago. 60 years is a very long period in an individual's life. But for an institute like CDRI, it's not a very long period. CDRI will see many, many more such 60 years in its life, redefining our commitments to the society and to the nation. While paying homage to those who are not with us anymore, we trace CDRI's contribution to drug discovery and development in India. Femi Penning was identified as an area of special importance in the post-independent period. CDRI therefore decided to work on anti-estrogens after doing the phase 1 to phase 4 clinical trials, Send Command emerged as the drug of choice. Send command is only once a week pill and that also can be avoided by taking it only post cortically because these are post cortical contraceptives. Besides the oral contraceptive, CDRI developed a vaginal cream to stop unwanted pregnancies. The active ingredient in this cream is from soap nut. The institute has also developed expertise on male and female infertility. The success with reproductive health did not stop CDRI from probing further into women's health. A drug for preventing osteoporosis or bone thinning in older women is under clinical trial. The institute has developed expertise on the diseases of the central nervous system. The work done on antidepressants, antithyroid, neuroleptics, anesthetics and neuromuscular blockers are well recognized. In the process, the institute has developed animal models for testing new drugs for several nervous disorders, including anxiety and depression, besides age-associated disorders like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. The most important probably is the work that we have done with the traditional remedy, Bacopa Bonira, which is also known as Brahmi. We have found a standardized extract which facilitates learning, helps its consolidation and retention for a long time. The scientists here now have models to test the effects of drugs on memory and learning. The second important area has been the relief of pain. And here we have been working both on drugs like local anesthetics and also systemically administered drugs. Millions of people are affected by malaria every year and quite a large number die. The main focus was on malaria and the clinical trial for the rt ether that's the new drug which this institute licensed to industry and is now used in 41 countries was completed in a record time. The clinical trial for 80 by 53 that is for the plasmodium vivex was also completed and the drug has been licensed to the industry. After identifying the drug from a plant artemisin, scientists here devised ways to synthesize the drug and its analogues for better action. The expertise in synthetic chemistry has thus become world class. We focused our total activities into four major areas. As a result, we developed two new drugs in the area of anti-malarials, 97 by 78 and 99 by 411, which were licensed to IPCA for further development. And the third one was anti-osteoporosis drug 99 by 373. Besides the ones that are already in the market, CDRI has developed two more drugs for malaria. These new drugs are now under clinical trials. 
CDRI has mapped the genetic diversity of Indian populations in terms of their susceptibility to malaria. This closely maps with the malaria endemic areas and gives scientists new insights into the disease. Scientists here are now also looking at a cell organelle of the parasite with the aim of targeting it with specific drugs. Filariasis is also a tropical disease. Though mosquito-borne like malaria, filaria poses very different challenges to scientists. The institute has developed rodent models that mimic the growth of the parasite in humans, as well as methods to culture the parasite for understanding its physiology and genetics. Study of the immunological responses to develop vaccines that can prevent parasitic infections like filariasis and kala azar is also a high priority for CDRI. The institute is targeting actin molecules to stop the motility and reproduction of the parasite. Though it is prevalent only in some pockets of the country, India is emerging a world leader in the research on drugs for the disease. Microbes are less complex than parasites, but they evolve faster and develop resistance against antibiotics. Research on the microbes and the disease processes are the steps for designing better drugs. The microbe that causes tuberculosis, for example, infects the very immune cell that is supposed to engulf and destroy bacteria. In fact, they are able to divide and reproduce in these cells. Understanding the genes and proteins that enable the microbe to achieve this will help to develop specific drugs that can block the processes. While India is emerging in the world economic scenario, lifestyle illnesses are rising. Though the life expectancy of the average Indian has more than doubled in the last 60 years, new disease epidemiologies are emerging. The work on diseases of the circulatory system including high blood pressure, hyperlipidemia, atherosclerosis and thrombosis will yield valuable results for the Indian populations prone to stroke and heart attack. India is slowly emerging as the world's capital for diabetes. While type 1 diabetes is controlled by insulin and lifestyle changes, type 2 diabetes poses the challenge of multiple causes. The institute has identified processes that help to design drugs that target different metabolic diseases. Significant leads have also emerged in the treatment of breast cancer and the cancer of prostate in men. Cancer research in CDRI has specific focus to understand the processes that lead to unregulated proliferation of cells and to identify biomarkers for early detection of cancer. The institute now has a large repository of cancer cell lines. CDRI undertakes large-scale screening of drugs that help to overcome or even prevent various disease conditions. Many natural marine and plant resources of India are being evaluated for their therapeutic efficacy and safety in different clinical conditions. And to enable this, various state-of-art equipments and facilities for large-scale screening have been built up over the years. The facilities like protein crystallography and nuclear magnetic resonance imaging help to visualize the targets that could form the basis for design of drugs. This will allow the institute to embark on rational drug design. The ability to see the structure of proteins and drug molecules have revolutionized the way research is being done here. The candidate drugs developed in CDRI go through the stages of biochemical, tissue studies and animal studies to determine efficacy as well as toxicity and tolerance. The animal house facilities demonstrate the ethical treatments of animals used for research purposes in CDRI. The model of the flatworm to study toxicity of drugs has speeded up drug testing. It has a simple nervous system and shares many homologous genes with humans. Once a drug is identified as safe and effective, methods to synthesize them have to be developed. And then comes upscaling it for manufacture. The institute also helped to improve drug manufacturing process and to keep the cost of healthcare low in the country. 
CDRI has facilities for testing the drug formulations for their stability under different conditions and to assess their shelf life. Here, for example, the drug is tested for Brazilian weather conditions. In the last 60 years, the institute has grown into a storehouse of knowledge, skills and techniques in drug research. The manpower groomed by CDRI has contributed to the explosive growth of pharmaceutical industry in India. Indian manpower in drug research and biotechnology is poised to take on the world leadership. India has proved its skills and talents for drug discovery and development even with limited resources. When the whole country was working for the development of generic drugs where in which you know, CDRI also played a very important role along with other CSI laboratories, but CDRI kept its flag high for the new drug discovery as well. The future of drug discovery will have a lot of input from biotechnology and genomics. We are in a transitory phase, going to the new campus, starting a new life, and in this new campus, we'll take up new challenges and make CDRI one of the best institutes in the country in the area of life sciences, in the healthcare area, and also at least one of the best leading institutes in the world. CDRI, as a being a part of the enterprise CSIR, is ready to put affordable health in taking up in the area of nanotechnology for delivery and biotechnology for development.